ChatGPT as an AI model, guys. ChatGPT can generate responses based on a wide range of prompts, and uh, there are so there are so many advanced advanced prompts you can use to explore different topics and generate interesting and informative responses, guys. With ChatGPT, guys. In this video, I'm going to provide you with some of the advanced prompts you may find useful when interacting with ChatGPT. Okay, guys. So, all you need to do, what we are going, what we are going to do, guys, is I said, no further ado. Let's get a start. Okay. The the first the first one of the advanced prompt, guys. It is complete the sentence. This prompt can be used to generate a response that completes a given sentence. For example, you can type something like this. You may let's say. May say complete, complete maybe complete the, the sentence, complete the sentence. Same so may say complete the sentence maybe the the best the best way the best way maybe to learn the best way to learn a a new maybe new language is then you're going to put the dash there so then ask your gpt see what it is going to to give us so this is the first one completing the sentence so prompt like this complete sentence the best way to learn a new language is then put the dash and the chat gpt is going to provide your answer with with that prompt but also Another advanced prompt, guys, you can use it is explain. So this prompt can be used to generate a detailed explanation of a given topic. For example, you can type something like this regarding explain prompt. You can say, can you, can you, you can say, can you maybe, can you maybe explain the process? Can you explain the process of Let's say photosynthesis. So you may use this when it comes to explain plumb as one of the advanced plumb you can use with ChatGPT. You can ask something like this: Can you explain the process of photosynthesis? Then ChatGPT is going to give you a better answer about about what you have asked me. So, and the third things, guys. Let me stop this. The, 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 third, the third prompt, which is advanced prompt you may use with ChatGPT, it is compare and a contrast. This prompt can be used to generate a response that compares and a contrast to homo topics or ideas. For example, you can ask ChatGPT something like this. You can say, compare maybe and a contrast. Compare and a contrast maybe, let's say there. The difference between you can say maybe the difference between let's say capitalism capitalism and uh, maybe socialism so you may time to to ask the chat gpt something like this so compare the contrast the difference between capitalism and socialism and if you ask your activity something like this it is going to provide you a better explanation regarding compare and a contrast the plum together so this is a, the third one third of the of the list of advanced plumped you can use with chat gpt and the first one it is list so let me stop this the first plum it is list so list is a prompt can be used to generate a list of items or ideas related to a given topic. For example, you can ask ChatGPT something like this when it comes to list prompt. So you can say maybe you can say list some list some benefits some benefits. Let's say maybe benefits of regular let's say regular exercise. So you may let me collect this. 
okay you may ask ChatGPT something like this when it comes to use the list prompt so as you can see there's some benefit of regular exercise the chat GPT it is going to do all the work for you guys as you can see it is going to flow so this is the first one and the the the, the prompt number five which is advanced prompt you can use this chat GPT it is defined this prompt, defined prompt, can be used to generate a definition of a given term or concept. For example, you can ask ChatGPT something like this regarding defined prompt. You can say to ChatGPT, can you, can you maybe, can you define, can you define the term maybe, can you define the term, let's say, can you define the term maybe which term we're going to to put here like this let's say it is it is this one so you can ask that gpt can you define the term and you're going to mention the 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 term there and you're going to put a question mark then you can see chat gpt yes cognitive dissonance is a physical concept and it is going to give many many more many more explanation regarding what you have asked the guys so when it comes to another let, let's take a look of the another advanced prompt which is predict now so predict is a prompt can be used to generate a prediction about a future events or outcome for example you can ask chat gpt something like this regarding predict predict plump so we can ask activity what do you predict so let's say what do you predict what do you predict let's say what what you what do you predict what do you predict will be let's say what do you predict will be the the next will be the next major let's say major major technological advancement maybe advancement so we are going to ask the activity something like this and this is all regarding predict plumped guys so as you can see chat gp then it is going to start flowing the answer and uh, as you can see this is this is one of the advanced diploms in there. You can go, it is going to give you the best way, best answer, guys. So this is all about the the advanced diploms number six, which is predict. Now I'm going to to the number seven. So and the number seven is analyze. So you can the the advanced tip number seven. It is analyze. So this prompt can be maybe used to generate an analysis of a given topic or idea. For example, you can ask that GPT something like this. Let's say, let's say maybe, can you, let's say, analyze, analyze, can you analyze, you can ask that GPT, can you analyze maybe the effects? Can you analyze the effects maybe of, of social media, let's say on on mental health? So you can ask your GPT something like this. This is oh, oh let's call it this. Can you analyze the effect of social media on health on mental health? so this is regarding the regarding the regarding the analyze prompt and uh, let me stop here let's shift to another one okay another advanced prompt which is number eight it is create so create prompt can be used to generate a creative response and based on a, a topic or idea so for example you can ask that gpt something like this regarding create prompt so you can say you can say create a short story maybe a short story create a short story about let's say about
about a time traveler, maybe who? Let's say who? Who visit they? Who visit the year? So <laughs> you can ask plot like this. Can you create a short story about the time traveler who visit the year 2050, guys? So if you ask this, let's see ChatGPT. So you can see ChatGPT is going to lighting for us so this is only regarding create prompt and then the the advanced prompt number nine it is solve so solve prompt can be used to generate a solution to a problem or challenge for example you can ask chat gpt something like this you can say can you can you maybe solve the the problem, maybe the problem of traffic, of traffic, of traffic in urban areas. So, in urban areas, guys. So, you may ask ChatGPT something like this when it comes to solve the, when it comes to solve plant. So, if you if you press enter, then you can see it is going to to give you the the answer of what you have you have asked. So let's come to our final one. So our final advanced plot in this video, guys, it is debate. So debate is a plot that can be used to generate a response that that presents arguments for and against or a given topic or idea. For example, you can ask ChatGPT something like this: say Debate, debate the plus, let's say the plus and the cons. The plus and the cons, let's say of the of renewable, renewable, renewable energy sources, maybe. renewable sources guys so debate plus and the cons of renewable energy renewable energy sources so if you ask that gpt something like this you can see it is going to provide you the best and the best answer. but also i can also give some of some more example some more examples regarding what we have talked in this video guys for example it, in terms of complete sentences from you can have many more examples. For example, you can say maybe complete the sentence. Success is defined by the dash. But also in terms of explaining, you may have another example. Maybe you can say, can you explain the theory of relativity? Or you can say, can you explain the concept of artificial intelligence? But also in terms of compare and contrast plumped, you can also say compare and contrast the difference between iOS and Android operating systems. But also you can have something as compare and contrast the advantage and the disadvantages of homeschooling versus traditional schooling but also when it comes to list plumped you may have another examples like list some benefits of meditations also list some notable inventions of the industrial revolution but also in terms of defining you may have some plump like this can you define the term quantum mechanics but also can you define the term social justice but also in terms of predict command predict prompt you can ask something like what do you predict will be the impact of climate change on a global food production also you can ask something what do you predict will be the next major breakthrough in medical science but also in terms of analyze prompt analyze prompt you may in terms of analyze prompt you may use something like you can say something can you analyze the symbolism in the glit gas and the, in the glit that's by by F Scotty. Any you may you may ask the can you analyze the symbolism in a specific book? But also you can say can you analyze the causes and effect of um, of the American Civil War? But also when it comes to create plumped, you may ask question like create a poem about a beauty of nature or create a recipe for a vegan lasagna. So but also when it comes to solve to solve plumped, so as, as you see here, yeah, there is a solve prompt. So you can say maybe, can you solve the problem of income inequality in society? 
also you can say can you solve the problem of antibiotic resistance in a bacteria but also when it comes to our final plot which is debate you can ask something like debate the pros and the cons of social media but also debate the benefits and the drawbacks of genetically modified organism guys so hope this video had some value to you so if so consider subscribing and smash the like button to give this video a thumbs up thank you and then let me see you in the next one